Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So it's been a couple of days that the bootloader on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro has been unlocked and today we move towards a brand new journey. The first custom ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro is what we're going to flash today. This is Lineage OS 15.1. Like yesterday or day before, there was a new build for this particular device and from XDA developers, whatever I have read on that forum, the ROM is pretty, pretty stable. There are a few minor bugs and it is really exciting to see that a device which is brand new like this is getting a fully stable custom ROM. Now, I don't know how good the camera quality is and stuff, but today we're going to install and preview this ROM. So we're going to look at the install and preview process. Apart from that, I will be doing a full review of this ROM because this, is, this phone is my daily driver. So stay tuned for that. And before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And while you're down there, hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And here's a card to the giveaway of this particular phone. You stand a chance to win a Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers. And if motorbikes are your thing and you like, you know, travel diaries and stuff like that, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390. Go ahead and have a look at that channel and give that channel some love as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let the flashing begin. All right, guys, so welcome to another video of flashing on smartphone tutorials. So what we're going to look at today is the install and preview of Lineage OS 15.1. Now, this is an unofficial build. And before we begin the install process, there are a usual set of disclaimers that I need to give you. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. You are unlocked and you need to have the latest official TWRP installed. If you want to know how to go ahead and do that, here's a card to the root and TWRP video of smartphone tutorials. And apart from that, please make sure you back up all your data and on your information because you may lose some if you are not sure about things that you're doing apart from this what you need is the link is mentioned on in the description you need to download lineage os 15.1 rom open google apps download them and keep in keep it in your phone's internal memory or your external memory so the first thing that we're going to do is wipe swipe to factory reset now we will not be wiping internal storage here and then we will go to install and this is Lineage OS, build dated 13th of April. So swipe to confirm flash. Now, as you can see here, the ROM is flashing and the install process will take at least five to seven minutes. So please be patient. And after this, you have to flash Google Apps. Now, I have not installed this ROM before this. This is the first time I'm going to try and I thought that, you know, might as well try it in camera in front of you guys so that the first impressions are very, very raw and you get to know what the first look of this ROM looks like. I am not expecting a lot of bugs because as I referred to XDA developers earlier, people who have used this ROM state that it's pretty, pretty stable and stuff like that. So looks like the ROM flash is almost complete. What I would like to also add here is there are a lot of new ROMs that are going to come up for this particular device that is Redmi Note 5 Pro and all of them will be previewed and reviewed on this channel so stay tuned for that. Alright so as this is a install and preview and you know I'm not going to be signing into Google stuff so I'm not going to be installing Google Apps. What we're going to do is we will just reboot the phone and we will check if the ROM is installed and are there any issues with the first boot. Now, as always with uh, Xiaomi or any other phone, the first boot for any stock or custom ROM will take a while compared to the normal boot up process. So please be patient and let the phone boot. All right, so that's good news. The ROM has booted up and uh, remember, we have not installed Google Apps. So if any of you had that doubt that can you boot a ROM without Google Apps? Yes, you can. And I did not install Google Apps is because uh, one, I'm traveling and I don't have that package handy. And two, I don't intend to use this phone with this ROM at least for the next two, three days because I'm traveling. I will be reviewing it, but I'll be doing that later. So for now, let's have a first look at this phone real quick. All right, so looks like we are in Lineage OS 15 and trust me with the 18 is to nine aspect ratio, uh, custom ROM with clean Android, like pure Android looks beautiful as I experienced on the OnePlus 5T, which was one of my previous devices. Now, I think you guys can see it clearly, but then again, we are in the settings menu right now and mobile data is off. Both the SIM cards are working. And the first thing that I'd like to check here is voice over LT, is it working or not? So, 
it says mobile network here advanced okay so it says enhanced 4g lte mode is active now as we have a lot of users who are using voice over lte with geo and some other sim cards let's try and make a call to 198 and see if voice over lte is working all right so that's brilliant voice over lte is working with this particular rom apart from that if we have a look at the main menu here uh, we have audio fx browser so there's basically four and 16 apps so that is what is great now if we go to the multitasking menu we don't have ram information but let's quickly go to settings and check a few other things before we check the customization options so if we go to storage now that's the amount of storage space that i have used and is there any other customization that we have if you go to display we have live display you can turn that on or off based on the time of the day you have style sleep font size ambient display and all the other usual stuff if we go to system so you can customize the buttons here this is basically the button customization menu and what I can tell you is from the first look of it, from the first feel of it, the ROM is very, very smooth and I have not encountered any force closures so far. So if you go to status bar, there's a, you know, very, very small amount of customizations. You can change system icons. You can have a network traffic monitor. Auto brightness is turned on. You can turn that off and on. So those are basic customizations. You have gestures as well. So jump to camera. There's only one gesture available. And if we go to about phone and Here's the Easter egg for Android Oreo. Okay, there's our octopus here. So yeah, that's the install process and let's quickly have a look at the camera before we end this particular video. So the rear camera is working and what about the front camera? Oh, the flash came up and the quality looks pretty pretty decent here uh do we need to turn the flash off now what i'm looking for is port okay so this is something like footage camera let's quickly go back to the back camera here now what is this is that portrait mode let me check if portrait mode is actually working yeah so that's really really exciting because looks like portrait mode is working here oh wow yeah it is so that's something really neat now the only thing that i okay turn it off okay so one small bug that i think i have found here is that the flash for the front camera stays on all the time And I don't see portrait mode working in the front camera. Let me just zoom in and check. Not really. So the portrait mode in the rear camera is working just fine. Let me just show you guys a few picture samples here real quick. So that's clicked using the front camera like just now. And this is the rear camera. Now if you can see the background is blurred here. So portrait mode is definitely, definitely working fine. So i would say for a custom rom for a new device like this this is really really awesome and this was the install and preview basically the first look so i can safely say that you can use this for this particular rom as your daily driver and what i would like to share is if you like this video guys give this video a like share it with your friends and if you haven't already please subscribe and there are a lot of important and interesting things coming for the note 5 pro for now this is kalash with smartphone tutorials signing off Thank you for your time. Take care. Goodbye.